Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Laravel from scratch. In the last video, we implemented authentication. We can log in now. We, we have our dashboard that's just displaying our posts. Um, when we create a post, it's going to automatically put the logged in user's ID in. Um, so we did all that stuff. Now what I want to do is implement some access control and some safeguards. Um, there's a few things that we need to do. One is if we if I log out here and then I go to slash post slash create it's it's going to work and it shouldn't because guests shouldn't be able to create posts. So that's the first thing we're going to tackle. Now, implementing authentication is pretty easy. Uh, basically, we just have to include the middleware. So if we if, for instance, if we look at the dashboard controller, we have in the class, we have a, a constructor here, which is a function that runs when the class is instantiated. It calls this middleware off. And it's as simple as that to block everything. Uh, everything in the dashboard is going to be blocked if the user isn't authenticated. So we can just mimic this in our post controller. So let's copy this. I guess, uh, you know, I guess we'll just copy the whole thing. It's good to comment your code like this. When I do tutorials, I, I tend not to do that just because it takes so much time. Uh, but if you're writing a real production application, you definitely want to include your your uh, comments here and it's good to, to say what it returns if it does return something also if it takes variables or, or uh, I'm sorry parameters and so on um, so what I'm gonna do is go to the post controller and notice that we don't have a constructor here so I'm gonna just paste that one in that I just copied and if I go ahead and save this and then we go back over here and reload it's gonna kick us out which is what it should do but it's not gonna let us in any any type of post and we don't want that. We want to be able to display the posts and also the individual page, uh, which is the show view. So what we can do is we can add exceptions to the, the auth middleware. And it's simple to do. All we have to do is pass in an array and we can say accept. And then we can set that. We can set that to point to an array of views that we we want to add an exception for and it's going to be the index which is the list of blog posts and it's going to be the show which is the just the displaying the individual posts. so let's save that and now if we go back here and we go to blog it works if we go to the show page it works but if we go to post slash create we get booted out which is what we want if I go ahead and log in we can create a post. All right, so very, very simple to implement. And you could just imagine how difficult this would be if we were just using straight up PHP or we were creating our own framework or something like that. Laravel makes this stuff very easy. So another thing we wanna do, if we log out and we go to a blog post to a show page, we can see the edit and delete. And we, we can't edit uh, or we can't delete, but we don't want these buttons to even show because it doesn't really make any sense. So that's pretty easy to do. All we have to do is go to the view so we can go to our resources views and we want to go to the show template. And let's go down to where we have these links and let's just put an if statement here so we can simply say if not off guest we're going to end that down here after the delete. All right, so if the user is not a guest, then they, they'll be able to see this. OK, so let's save that and go back. Reload and now the user can't see it. So very, very simple. If we log in, let's actually log in as um, John Doe, which I think was test at test.com. All right, and if we go to our dashboard, we only did post five, but if I go to post four, we can still see edit and delete, and we can actually edit and delete. We don't want that because this isn't John Doe's post. So this solution is really easy to hide these, and that's just to go right under this, and we're going to do an if, and we're going to say if auth user ID is equal to the post user ID, then this is okay. They'll be able to see it. 
All right, so the user has to match the post, uh, the post user ID. And now if I go to post five, which is John Doe's, we can see the buttons. Now, what we what, what still isn't right is that if we go to our post five and we just manually go to the URL of edit, we can still edit. We don't want that. So we have to go into the controller and let's go to let's see, create. I'm sorry, not create edit. So if we go to edit and let's go before we actually do anything and actually, no, we have to go after the post because we have to check the user ID. So right here, let's say let's put a comment. We'll say check. Uh, we'll say check for correct user. So we'll say if and remember when we're, when we're in the controller, we can access the user's ID with auth user ID and we want to match that we want to say if it's not equal if it's not equal to the post user ID the current post that we're viewing then we want to redirect so let's just copy this we don't want to show this view the edit view we just want to redirect actually um, this is going to be return redirect and then we want to go to slash posts. And then we're going to say with error. And for the message. For the message, we'll just say uh, unauthorized page. OK, so let's save that and we'll go back and let's reload this page and we get unauthorized page. If I go to post five and edit, everything's OK. All right, so we now have protection against other people editing people's posts. And then we want to do the same thing for the delete. So we'll just copy this and go down to destroy right under the where we get the post and just paste that in. All right, so now the user can't edit or delete anyone else's stuff. All right, so I think that's going to be it, guys. If, if you see any, um, oh, did I just open Adam? Oops. If you see any issues here that, that I'm missing as far as security or access control, feel free to let me know in the comments. Uh, you know, the only time that 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 stuff bothers me, if you guys correct me, is if you're an asshole. If you say it, if you're genuine, then that's what I want. I don't want, um, you know, things to be wrong. So if you see any errors or you see something that should be fixed um, and remember, it's not a production app, so it's not going to be, you know, as secure as, as a production app would be, but just basic things like access control. Uh, feel free to let me know. All right, so I think that's going to be it, guys. In the next video, probably going to be the last video as, as far as you know what we have for now, is going to be file uploads. I want the blogs to be able to have an image associated with them. So we'll get into the storage library and, and that stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. If you're liking the series, please let me know by leaving a like or a comment or uh, you know, whatever you can do is is great. And thanks for watching.